Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we're going to be working with particles and snapping a few objects to them so they can give a kind of interesting effect almost like this snowing sphere cylinder cone effect so yeah that's what we're going to be doing but it's, it's pretty simple we're just going to dive into the basics of particles if you want to go deeper I will hopefully be making another video in the future that will go deeper into it, but this is just like a, a basics entry level into some of the things you can do with phys uh, with yeah physics, but with specifically particles. Um, so yeah, hopefully that intrigues you. Go ahead and start a new file, and let's get rid of this one and make a new plane. I'm gonna move this up. Just hit G, middle mouse click drag, or hit Z on your keyboard. And this I'm going to make a little bit bigger and go straight into the particles. So go, click, go ahead and click new and we're going to make sure that's the emitter and you can set this to as many number as you would like. This is how many snow it's going to happen between the frames of 1 and 200. Uh, let's click the lifetime to about 250 just so we know that all of our particles are going to last the lifetime of our frames. That, we're, uh, that we have set. And then, you know, let's scroll down. Velocity. Cache is nice to have. Once you have some settings, you can hit Bake All Dynamics. But until then, you don't have to worry about this. And also, if you have a decent computer, you may not have to worry about this for uh, at least this video. But as you get more complicated scenes, bigger scenes that your computer can't handle real time, then you want to hit Bake All Dynamics. And then, when you want to change something there will be a free all bakes right here just click it and then bake it again sweet okay so velocity this is the direction um, and speed of your particles so right here this is the normal uh, this may seem like if you're brand new into like physics and particles this may seem kind of weird that it be called normal it just means that is the speed. Just think of it as a speed. So this is a, a speed of one. So if we hit play or spacebar, you can see it goes up like a little bit. That is what the speed of one does. If we were to change that to zero, you can see it doesn't go above it at all. Uh, so yeah, we can just leave it like that. Uh, if we're doing the snow effect, if you want it to be more like a fountain or something, just increase it and it will go up. So zero. Uh, some of these you don't have to really worry about. These will just change the direction in which the tangent is. So if I were to increase this and uh, or the velocity, it will shoot it off in another direction. That's really all that does. So I'm going to leave it just going straight up and down. Uh, these are similar as well. You can say x, y, or z, which way you want it to shoot a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to just drag this up. Whoa, maybe not that much. Okay, let's... So yeah, just drag that up until you get like this nice subtle snowing effect. Oh, that's actually probably better than my first time, so that's good. <laughs> I like it when that happens in these kind of videos. So yeah, just randomize that. And you can see that it already has these little particles and it already looks like snow. Um, but we're going to just take it one step further by doing something that is a common thing that you might need within uh, your particles. Uh, so now I think is the time to do this. Hit Shift A while in the viewport and add, I don't know, a cube. Make it small. Uh, add a, a cylinder. Drag it over here. Make it smaller. And add a cone. Um, I don't know. Add anything else that you'd like to add. These are just going to be our objects that we're going to attach to these particles. And then I'm going to select all of them. Make sure you don't have the light selected. Okay, I guess I'll just select it from over here. Um, and then hit M. This will move it to a new collection. Let's just name this the um, object collection. And hit OK. So now we've just pretty much grouped them together. If we click back up on here on our particle emitter, we can go back in here and go to where it says render. 
and you can say we you can see we skipped a couple and we will come back to them because it will make more sense once we have objects in them another reason why we're attaching objects to them so go ahead and click on render as and make sure that it says collection either actually either one of these will work a uh, collection will just take a group of objects whereas an object will just take one so we want a collection so we can work with that and then underneath it will a new tab will open up for collection just click on your collection that you just created and you can actually see if you pay attention to some of them that fall in front of your screen or if you can get into a view where you can see them they actually already work they're uh, they are on there or it's that's actually really hard to see right now that's okay we will fix that uh, let's fix that right now let's see let's go to viewport display uh, oh right here my bad it was just right above it I was gonna say I thought it was just right here uh, it's because they're being rendered or they're yeah they're being rendered at 0 0.05 which is what we display as we display them as their rendered size so we want it to be I don't know let's try a point 0.1 that's a little bit bigger let's try even bigger than that let's do like a point two five. Oh, there we go now you can see each one of those particles is now an object or rather an object has been attached to each one of those particles and so what we can do is we can come in here and where did it go right here physics and rotation let's start with rotation check the checkbox and you can now see that our objects can rotate let's just randomize this a little bit and click dynamic dynamic will essentially if they collide it will make a little bit it will rotate on collision as well so if you had other objects that acted as collisions that would work um, for that sweet uh, some things in here in the physics is you can multiply the mass with the size so for instance if you come up here to uh, let's go back to render if you hit scale randomness some of the objects will become bigger and some of them will become really small and so this is actually where in the physics tab the multiply mass with size becomes really handy if you like this feature this will make it so that if you have bigger objects they will be heavier or they will have a, a higher mass um, yeah or smaller smaller masses now if we want this to look like snow our brownian should be a little bit higher brownian is a physics term that is like a random motion if you think about snow it kinda like fades left and right kinda like this a little bit like a paper um, so that would be kind of how we would simulate this here and then we would increase the drag because snow has a ton of drag oh yeah there we go now we have some snowing or raining particles and you can always dampen this if you like so now we have real snow uh, yeah that's kind of pretty much it you can also within the render tab sorry if I'm bouncing it around sometimes it makes sense to talk about these like these three tabs right here are very interrelated so um, I hope that you stayed with me a little bit uh, you can go in here and make sure that you you or not make sure you can click on pick random and these things it won't have like a set one two or three there's four objects before there would be an equal amount of all four objects right now if I click this and I check it it doesn't really matter there can be technically if the odds fell in its favor it could have all of them be the same object so yeah that's that's pretty much what I want to share with you today there's a lot more uh, tabs that you can look into this was just for a, a little bit of a basic of getting into it and good luck with your particles like and subscribe at the bottom and we'll see you next time